So here we go guys right box here and welcome back to our MotoGP 2019 season mod. The link will be the, uh, in the description to this mod if you want to go download it for yourself. It's for the MotoGP 18 game on the PC. It's really easy to install. You just There's some instructions in a notepad file in the download. You just drag one file into it and it adds all these uh, updates in. So if you haven't seen my previous videos on it, it basically adds in the 2019 rider lineup and some of the bikes and it actually adds in the new Yamaha team. So we've got Franco Morbidelli on the new Yamaha team and Quattararo on the new Yamaha team. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in the last one we did a race as Miguel Oliveira and we've previously done one as uh, Lorenzo. Uh, on his new uh, Honda. So what we're going to do in this one, we're going to head to Mugello. We're going to be taking Danilo Petrucci and his brand new factory Ducati bike there. We're going to go for a 25% race, starting from the back of the grid, and let's see what we can do. So then here we go. We are on the grid, and we're we're currently looking at uh, the Suzuki there. But uh, here we go, Danilo Petrucci, right on track now, and uh, on the uh, full factory Ducati. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into this race, and you can see. Dovi, our teammate, is on pole position, followed by both Yamahas. So let's see what we can do from the back of the grid to, uh, on the Ducati. Take a look at Danilo Petrucci on the Ducati, looking pretty sweet. Let's see what he can do then. He's uh, going to have a tough season on the new bike, uh, trying to go head to head with his teammate, Davizioso, who's been incredible over this last season. But uh, let's see what we can do again. He's run into turn one a little bit early on the brakes, actually. I'm a bit cautious, and someone's clipped our rear tyre there. Oh my God. Tito Rabat's down at the first corner. He clipped our rear tyre, and then uh, again. And, uh, oh, my God, what is going on with people? Why is Bagnaia... Oh, my God, everyone's hitting me. Let's take a look at replay, because I don't think I did that. I, got, I uh, came out wide. And, uh, okay, yeah, maybe he did turn in on him a little bit. But we were out wide. He should have been a bit more careful. We just got absolutely punted there by uh, Cal Crusher. So not an ideal start to this race. And Cal Crusher is going to come straight through on us there. So there we go. Going to struggle um, at the start of this Grand Prix. It's tended to struggle at the start of races on this new mod. But here we go. Danilo Petrucci. What can he do? Oh, Cal Crutchlow straight around our outside. So we're being a bit cautious. i got a feeling that Petrucci is going to have a bit of a cautious start to the 2019 season when it does eventually kick off. Uh, but uh, let's see them. Going to have to get up to pace. We've only got five laps around here. It's a bit of a longer track than the other others that we tested this mod at. So we did, we did Valencia. And then we did, Valen uh, then we did Jerez in the last one. And now we're at Mugello. So we really need to get our head down and try and catch up to Cal Crutchlow. And we've got the KTM behind us trying to come through on us. That's not really what we need right now. See if we get a decent run through here, which we do. And look at that run. Cal Crutchlow coming across us. Oh, well, we really need coming to the final corner. Bit aggressive on Johan Mir. Oh. We got out wrestled, uh, out wrestled by Quattararo. That Yamaha are doing pretty well. That new Yamaha bike. Oh my god, I didn't realise we were squeezing in there. The Vizio said 49.7. We do a 51.7. 211 mile an hour. Look how quick. And the rear just whoa, lift the bike up. Avoiding and only we completely outbreaked ourselves. But we maintain 8th place. Good job this thing is quick and it's so quick in a straight line over 211 mile an hour i think we might hit 213 maybe i wasn't looking at the speedo to be honest i was pretty much looking at where we had to break and turn in we we're underneath ian onate side by side through turn four and five he comes out on top but uh, this ducati feeling nice uh, like i was saying i don't think petrucci is going to do that well next season on the uh, factory Ducati hopefully it does but uh, I don't know Ducati have a problem with not being able to sign good right well not not good riders but they haven't got that world-class rider obviously they had Lorenzo but they let him go to Honda big mistake that was and we're up the inside of Ian Oney there I'm gonna pause it and get ourselves a screenshot for the thumbnail right getting back to the action then we're underneath of Ian Oney that was a good overtake there it's just whether we can keep him at bay obviously Ian Oney a previous rider for Ducati but like I say Dovia Dovia's a brilliant rider but he hasn't got world ch uh, championships under his belt 
Um, same for Ian Oney. No Moto GP championships, but uh, oh my god, who's that? Why is one Suzuki? So they could do with signing someone or getting a rider who's capable of taking the championship because recently the uh, <laughs> the championships have been dominated by uh, Marquez and then obviously Lorenzo as well. Rossi's been coming close, but it's uh, Yamaha need to pull it together a little bit. It, uh, so I wonder who's the next rider who's going to be able to win a championship other than Marquez or someone who, like an existing champion like Lorenzo. Could it be Dovi? I think Dovi's probably got the the best odds of being able to do it. Obviously he's got a quick bike and it's going to be even quicker next year I reckon. Yeah, Zarko's been doing really well on this uh, in the races on this mod, which is pretty good to see. So uh, they must have gone off of rider performance rather than the bike, but... I wonder if Zarko can do pretty decent. He's going to be a champion of the future, definitely. He's made a massive impact coming into MotoGP. So, I don't know. I just don't think Petrucci has that. He's going to be a second rider, basically, I think. But you never know. It could be wrong. Probably will be. But uh, it's one of them. Have to wait and see what happens. I wonder if Suzuki can get themselves in a race winning. Oh, my God. Who was that down? It looked like Dovi, was it? Is it Dovi that far down? Looked like it. Might have been one of the Ducatis. Let's see if he's still on his bike up ahead as we're going to come across the line to end the uh, end the lap, not the race. We'll see what happened there. So we're only in P6. I just don't feel like we've got the pace to be able to catch up to the top five. We've got a bit of a gap to bridge. It's Marquez, Lorenzo, Rossi, Vignale, Zarco, Petrucci. So, yeah, it was Dovi that fell off there. Big style into the gravel trap. <clears throat> we've closed right in on the brakes that's where I'm able to make up the time on the brake so it's going to be an out, out breaking manoeuvre on uh, Johan Zarka by uh, the looks of things let's see as we get in over the kerb there's no grip on the kerb there come on we can get Zarko but then it's going to be Vinales and Valentino to deal with right then up the inside, oh we can try to we're right on the back of Zarko now he's holding us up a little bit, we're going to try it around the outside for round turn 8 power down and it works, how on earth did that work there hold the apex at turn 9, power down out of there and we're up into a safe P5 I'd say now just got to keep the pace up. Oh no, maybe not quite safe. We've got Zarka up behind us. I saw him coming to view there. We've only got this next lap after this one. And Zarko, he's trying it. And he's through. Turn 12. He had the pace. And there we go. Contact with Zarko. Out wide a little bit. But uh, we managed to hold on to 5th place and Zarko is still on his bike. I'm still on the bike. I thought we were both going to come up there. <laughs> but here we go. Final lap time. Maybe we could do something on the brakes and get a position off of Vinales. That'd be cool. 43.6. 43.6 from us. Fastest lap of the race for us there on this Ducati. Pull it into turn 1. Right. Maybe we could get both Yamahas by the end of the lap. That would be good. That would be an achievement. And that would give us a nice podium finish. But it's two Hondas. Then it's two Yamahas. And then it is myself and Zarko on the KTM. Oh, Vignales got out wide. And this is our opportunity. I'm going to have to go for someone up the inside, aren't I? Here as we drop down. The oh, no. Not able to. Maybe on the second part of that chicane. Not able to. We can't do something around the outside of Vinales. We're able to do it on the KTM. But the Yamaha has a stronger bike. Unless we can get up the inside, which we do. Very aggressive. Up into P4. Now it's going to be our opportunity. Oh, Vinales is down. What is he doing? What is he playing at? Clips our rear tyre and down he goes. What can we do about Valentino then? Can we get ourselves at a podium finish here on the Ducati? Nick it from Yamaha, that'd be good. I know this next chicane we're going to be quick through there. So it's all about that. Oh, not if I do that. 
saying that we get a really good run and now we're going to go up the inside into the final corner it's a final corner job there from Petrucci oh, the Yamaha just has more pace around the corners and we can't get it down it might be the rider performance there Valentino can hold it around the corner a bit better a bit quicker than Danilo Petrucci but here's our run and we've run out of time oh, not quite able to get a podium in this video not like the last one, we were able to get a good podium with uh, that Tech 3 KTM, level 152. So let's see then, where did... Where did... Dovi finish then? Where is he? Ah, oh, 10th. So, mmm, pretty disappointing and surprising to see him fall off as 43.694 from Marquez. 43.648 from Lorenzo. 43.5 from Petrucci there. Obviously, Arducati working really well around here. 44.4 from Dovi. So, not as quick as ourselves. But there we go. A good race. Very enjoyable. Really enjoying this mod. I hope you guys are enjoying the content from it as well. Maybe leave me, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see from this mod. And uh, I guess for now, we will see you in the next one.